regulate your soul because that's what spirituality is spirituality ruhaniya so these ethics are there for that purpose but let's take the example you see in a dream something that is about to happen and it actually happens how do you explain that well of course science can't explain that science will call it illusion or can we or, or, or coincidence or coincidental illusion as they, some have called it. You see somebody who's passed away. Your granddad. Many, many years ago. Hello there, how are you? Are you actually speaking to him? Is it him? Or is it a figment of your imagination? This is going to be covered later on in this syllabus under the subject of life and death. Not the punishment after life, by the way. That's the subject of Sharia. But for the moment, we're talking about a scenario where a Muslim and a non-Muslim actually sees things and cannot explain what he sees. Take, for example, Nostradamus. He said many things which came out to be true. How does that come within the framework. After all, he, he can't have told lies, otherwise he would have been caught. History would have told him to be a liar. Okay, he may have been inaccurate, but there were accuracies. What was the modem of him receiving that knowledge? It is ilham. And the Quran specifically talks about the word ilham by saying, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Ilham is of two kinds, the Quran says. Of goodness and of badness. So you may actually find that shaitan visits you and tells you some, some things and they turn out to be true. No problem. It's all explained. The Prophet ﷺ said that the dream of a mu'min is one fortieth of the revelation of a prophet. 
So does that mean? Subhanallah Walhamdulillah Walhamdulillah